Well, this is that mower I worked on the other day on one of my video back. I said I had to put a brace under the frame where it was cracked, which is, that's right there, but that's not the reason we're looking at it. What it was, I'd used it several times on flat ground, and it worked just great. But in low, low, like, well, it's got one of them things on the dash for seven speeds. And uh, for some reason, I mean, on the flat ground, it worked fine, but coming up a hill in low gear, it wouldn't. It just slipped. And uh, I'm, I've checked, I've adjusted this rod right here. Didn't help. Now I've adjusted this little rod right here, which you can, maybe I can get the camera right where you can see it from here. That didn't do anything for it. And so I noticed that whenever I was, uh, when I was, just as soon as I would push the clutch in, it comes an immediate stop. So I'm starting to think that the problem is not so much the clutch as it is the brake. So I'm going to attempt to uh, check out this brake back here. We'll see what we got back here. But this is the thing. And it seems like this moved, but I'm going to just go ahead and take it off. And I can't do it with the camera on, so we'll have to see later on what's going on here. Well, the brake is definitely crusty enough. And it looks to me like there's oil or grease coming out of there. Like maybe the rear end's been leaking or something. But, uh, yeah, it's really packed up. We'll get busy and I'm going to clean this up and see what see what goes on. So we'll be back after a while. All right, well, I uh, cleaned the brake up. The part that really matters. And uh, put it back so we're getting ready to give her a try and see what happens now. Alrighty, well I checked the brake and everything. It's probably so dark you can't see nothing over there now. But it was wasn't causing any problems, but it turned out that this uh, adjustment here wasn't uh, letting it letting this belt tighten up enough. Wasn't letting it go back back there farther. I don't know why it was that way this time. I put new belts on it and then uh, and of course you couldn't tell before because the thing wouldn't hardly even pull itself the way it was. But anyway, I readjusted this and uh, now it's pulling itself in low gear like it wouldn't come up a hill before when it was, uh, I mean, just a small hill, not even mowing or anything, it wouldn't pull itself up the hill. Anyway, now we got to put the deck back on it and the guy's supposed to come get this afternoon and later on this evening. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Okay, well, one more thing while we're under here, just in case you didn't never know how the layout is, there's that, this is that belt that uh, runs the, back to the variable speed pulley. It's got a couple little uh, guides right here, one on one side, one on the other, and that, if you, pull, you have to let the pulley down or bend these things out to get uh, the belt on there. Then the belt just runs back through here, very basic, and then it goes in the, the lower part of that. Um, now let me turn this thing sideways. I never did like watching it sideways yet. Anyway, then it goes from here back and then it goes around that one and the top belt, the top belt is small when it goes on that top half of that uh, variable and goes to your differential back there. Just in case anybody needs to see what they look like when they're underneath here, this is just a basic picture of the drive belt system. Alright, well this is enough this time, so catch you later.